bringing news that matters to you. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. Hundreds of students from public and private schools throughout Grand Bahama getting an opportunity to experience a science at its best. The science machine touching down at the Bishop Michael Eldon Auditorium and students were able to see firsthand various science experiments by the science machine. Organizer and principal of the Hampton Academy, January Culmer, says that the kids truly enjoyed the performances. What happened today was totally amazing. The kids were very attentive. You know, a room full of children at this age, it's hard to keep them quiet. But you can hear a pin drop in here. They're so interested in seeing what's going on and learning about how these different science experiments actually happen. Now, Calmer says she was impressed with the turnout by local schools and believes students benefited from the science show. I'm just grateful for all of the schools for actually coming out and showing support. The kids will definitely walk away from here, hopefully not trying all of the experiments. We did teach the safety part of these experiments and what not to do at home and how to do, perform the experiments properly. So hopefully we don't have any, you know, mad scientists in the kitchen at home. <laughs> a local tertiary level institution is continuing to make a difference in the Grand Bahama community. Tarif College has launched a major food drive to aid the Grand Bahama Children's Home. Executive Director of the Grand Bahama Children's Home, Sheila Johnson-Smith, says she's grateful that Tarif is helping to meet a critical need. Donations towards the food drive could include grocery items as well as toiletries. All donations will be given to the Grand Bahama Children's Home in support of their 40th anniversary in serving the Grand Bahama community. Donations from the public may be made to our office in the Niles Grace Center, West Atlantic Drive, and students may take their contributions to school or the office. And so we would like to take this opportunity to encourage all of our students connected to us to come out and support this so that we can do a great thing in Grand Bahama for these um, children at the children's home. Now the Grand Bahama Children's Home is grateful for this donation. We depend on them for food especially during the year. They have always been good to the Grand Bahama Children's Home. At present we have 26 children in the home. So you can imagine what it costs for the home to be operational. And now it is time to ask the doctor. Hi, and welcome to my special segments this week on kidney disease. World Kidney Day is celebrated in March every year. It is a joint initiative of the International Society of Nephrology and the International Federation of Kidney Foundations. This year, World Kidney Day will be held on Thursday, March 9th. The theme is kidney disease and obesity, healthy lifestyle for healthy kidneys. The mission of World Kidney Day is to raise awareness of the importance of our kidneys to our overall health and to reduce the frequency and impact of kidney disease and its associated health problems worldwide. Objectives include highlighting that diabetes and high blood pressure are key factors for chronic kidney disease, or CKD for short, encouraging systematic screening of all patients with diabetes and hypertension for CKD, encouraging preventive behaviors, educating all medical professionals about their role in detecting and reducing the risk of CKD, particularly in high-risk populations, and stressing the important role of local and national health authorities in controlling the CKD epidemic. So if you or someone you know have questions on kidney disease, please email askdrbahamas at gmail.com. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Stay with us, Ricardo Liveborn, as a check on sports while we come back.